Moose, let's start with you. You're eager to talk and uh, and you know stuff. DK Sportsbook Vegas minus 250 favorites on the money line. Okay, so how do you feel about it after a game one in which the Golden Knights look really good? Yeah, I mean, I think Montreal played them pretty close, if we're being honest. Like, I think that the game was closer than the score kind of indicated. It was one of those situations. But I'm, I'm not quite ready here to just jump on the Montreal side. I mean, uh, I, the line is certainly big enough if you want to do that. Now, the nice thing is this line has gotten so big that you can take Montreal here. And I would do that, but I would go to the puck line. I would take them plus 1.5 in this game, minus 127. Carey Price has a very good road record uh, in these playoffs. He's five and two. Uh, I think that, like I said, I think that score was a little bit, is just not, not quite indicative of how the game necessarily went. I think Montreal had their chances early. They just didn't, just didn't capitalize. I'm expecting a close game too. I'm not confident enough to say Montreal necessarily pulls it out. If I'm going to pick Montreal for a win, it'll probably be in Montreal. I do like the Canadians puck line, though, at plus 1.5. All right. I don't always know what I'm talking about, but, Paul, you've been locked in of late. So let's go to you here. Montreal, you're going to chase the Canadians. No way. I think the sand is about ready to pour out of Montreal's hourglass in this surprising postseason run. Consider that Petrie's out with a broken finger. Mm-hmm. finger. Shea Weber's playing with a hand injury that removes their top veteran defenseman as threats to impact this game. Tatar and Evans may be ready to return. That's a lot of ifs, guys. And uh, mm-hmm. let's face it, the top line for Vegas didn't show up in that first game, and they still won by a, a pretty comfortable margin. I think that's going to change tonight. So I don't see any chance that uh, that anybody should put any money on the Montreal situation, no matter what the bet is. Uh, because on the flip side, the Knights are only missing their bottom six forward, Thomas Nosek. They're ready to, to break out, and I think they're going to do that at home tonight. AJ, you don't like a Habs bounce back? I don't, and I, I like it even less than I like agreeing with Paul here. So, you know, <laughs> th- this one pains me here. But, yeah, I'm not chasing the value on the Habs here. They're just too outmatched throughout the lineup. As Paul mentioned, you know, Petrie, Evans are, are both technically game time decisions tonight, but I, I'm not expecting we'll really see either in, in action. Uh, and and I also don't like getting just even money on on the puck line here to give up a goal and a half. Like, that's just not enough value for, for the risk. So I'm going to look alternate puck line and get the Knights at minus two goals for plus 155 to grab some good value here. It's a margin of victory they've achieved in three of their last four games. I expect that trend to continue. And if you want to take on that little bit more risk to avoid the potential push, as you guys know I love to do, you can go minus two and a half for plus 195 as well here. 